What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a quick, quick review of the Toys R Us exclusive Strafe from Age of Extinction, the new Transformers line of toys. Um, now the reason it's a Toys R Us exclusive, even though this guy's available everywhere, is because it comes in yet another Evolution 2-pack. This is just a box, nothing inside obviously. Uh, you'll see it's got some G1 stuff going on here, celebrating the 30th uh, anniversary of Transformers. And you also get the old school uh, logo with the grid here, uh, just turning into what is now considered Transformers. So big difference between this guy and this guy. Well, actually, this guy here. All right, um, but still a cool toy, which we can check out in just a moment. And it's actually uh, the evolution of this one. For, for almost forgot to show you this. This is part of the Evolution Two Pack. A uh, little G1 type swoop going on right here which we'll check out also but first we are going to look at the back of the box for those of you that are interested you get the classic figure in uh, robot mode back here and also his alternate mode and you get the current straight figure with his double headed uh, dragon type thing going on there so let's move ahead to the figure shall we alright so here's strafe now the first thing that caught my attention with strafe is the fact that his wingspan is immense this was one of the qualities that led me to buy it even though this is not necessarily in the same vein of stuff that I collect you guys know I like regular old uh, old people robots but uh, this wingspan was really cool the design was really cool so yeah figured I'd give it a shot plus it's got this little guy here which uh, we'll get into in just a moment uh, so yeah here's strafe now the wings I love setting them in the open position even though the instructions or whatever show the wings folded up somehow not even gonna bother doing it but they the way it comes in the package really uh, but it does look super awesome if you display him with the wings but obviously that's gonna take up a lot of space so it's really up to you guys how you want to do it but this is how I will display mine and it's really cool the way these two heads work out to be part of his chest or you can actually have them out this way, whichever uh, you prefer. I do prefer it with the heads in, although this does look a little more dramatic. I do have his weapons attached. You got one out back. You can have it facing down or up. I just chose to have it facing down. You also have these weapon pieces here on the wing, which is the way I've attached them. Now, I don't have the instructions, so I may have things attached the way they're not supposed to. I somehow lost them between uh, Toys R Us and the car, because I always rip these open as soon as I leave the store. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to transform this guy uh, correctly. Um, but we'll go ahead and keep looking at the figure. Awesome paint apps here. I love the way this blue fades into this lighter silverish blue. You got black Autobot logos. Uh, the tails, which are bent this way because of the packaging, so if you want to straighten them out, you can always run them under warm water. Uh, you can't really pop them off. They're kind of hinged unless you know how to take pins out if you really want to go that far with it uh, but the the paint on these is also nice it's got the same graduation going on here the blue into the silverish blue and uh, hopefully these things don't deteriorate and start breaking because they're really cool we really add a lot to the figure so we're gonna go ahead and look at the articulation you got the head here uh, which the neck kind of just goes in for transformation but I do see that it's on a ball joint uh, but it's very limited just the ball joint itself can look side to side when it looks down it's really just pushing down on the neck so maybe the ball joint is just a little tight on mine uh, you have the head thing here which obviously moves around but we'll check those out in the alternate mode you got the shoulders right you have the wings which can technically flap up and down you have the waist joint which is cool all right you also have the hips which are on a ball joint which are separate from this outer blue piece which is also a nice touch and you have the swivel here on the lower thigh you also have the knee right, which uh, is generous enough and that's it uh, nothing on the foot no ankles no nothing the hands don't even move but you do have the upper swivel here All right, so figure itself really nice let's show you what he looks like with this weapon in his hand pop it in right here now, uh, it does have a shooting feature, but it's one of those cheesy pop-out kind of uh, shooting things, so it's a little awkward to use uh, in robot mode, but technically all you do is push on that, and you'll see it really does nothing. 
Let's try that again. So it's really the force of your finger pushing it, which is going to cause this to shoot out. I think it's stupid, honestly, uh, and just a way to save money uh, and make the toy safer, I guess, but it's just horrid, in my opinion. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is transformation. As a lot of people have told me in my Facebook, it is a lazy transformation, which means it's really not a transformation at all, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to move the heads out, all right, pop the head in, so you'll see that's pretty lazy, the head's just right there. Move the heads in that way and you'll see they're going to snap right in like that do that for both heads and the arms literally just hinge or not hinge but they tab into the wing here all right just like that do the same for the other side just got to line it up a certain way there you are and then you'll see the claws of the uh, alternate mode right there I'm going to fold this over and around like so and then just uh, spin the legs around now again I don't have the instructions so I might be doing it wrong but uh, I can't get the waist to turn around 180 degrees without banging into this part so I'm assuming this is exactly how it's supposed to be and it looks correct to me um, then bring the tail down and that's it that's really it uh, just fix the heads and you can open the mouths if you want so again very lazy transformation it's basically just robot mode with uh, the arms attached to the wings I don't even think that the hands fold away nope they just move back and forth just a tad for whatever reason and then these you can possibly just flip around make them like a seeker with this null raise just like that and also can be used wep as weapons in robot mode but uh, yeah this is strafe guys this is what uh, swoop is supposed to be he's blue he doesn't match the what we're used to as kids or at least us older guys but uh, it's still a cool figure uh, nonetheless very cool wingspan that's what I love most about this and it does fold it does move it does go up and down uh, so I thought that was a really neat touch to this figure um, so this is uh, an exclusive for Toys R Us so it's a couple bucks more than your standard deluxe about two dollars more only because you get this little mini swoop or mini strafe here uh, they don't call it swoop on the box I don't believe they still call it strafe uh, so we'll go ahead and show you this guy because uh, this may just be enough for you to want to buy this some people really go crazy over these smaller ones uh, transformation let's see if I remember but I'll do my best anyway uh, let's see bring this blue piece up to allow these things which are called the legs to come down and bring this forward like so it's a little strange this transformation and then this blue piece goes down and tabs right there and what's supposed to be the legs and then the legs are right there and the hands and the head uh, the uh, actual box take a look here doesn't show a face so I'm thinking like that's just really really lazy there but it actually does have a face you'll see a sorry excuse for eyes right underneath there if you bring this up as back far as possible and then those are the arms the little claws and then the uh, little articulated claw thing there but that's it that's the little mini transformer it comes with and having said all that guys I think this is going to bring us to the end of the review again really short if you have any questions or comments maybe there's something I missed since I don't have the damn instructions with me uh, maybe you can go ahead and post it below and maybe this is going to be one of those things you're going to comment on you can put the weapon on top here apparently so uh, yeah until uh, next time guys bye bye